हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू अ न्यू वीडियो एंड दिस इज द वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक इज दैट अ ऑर्गेनो मेटेलिक कंपाउंड और आई दर द ओ एम सी सो दिस इज द वन ऑफ द मोस्ट इम्पोर्टेंट टॉपिक ऑफ इनऑर्गेनिक केमिस्ट्री एंड ट्राई टू वॉच फुली दिस वीडियो बिकॉज इन द लास्ट आई विल डिस्कस अ सम एक्सपेक्टेड क्वेश्चन एंड सम प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन ऑफ आई आई टी जैम सो ट्राई टू वॉच फुली दिस वीडियो एंड वी विल स्टार्ट द टॉपिक ऑर्गेनो मेटेलिक कंपाउंड Now the organometallic in general it deal with a molecule that contain a metal carbon bond. So we basically define that a compound which contain a at least one metal carbon bond. Here we take an example because we understand by the better example. So that is a RMGX. There the RMGX is a Grignard reagent. We all know about that RMGX is a Grignard reagent, and RMGX in that Mg is a magnesium. Magnesium means metal. And R is an any alkyl group. Alkyl means that a carbon bond. So in the R M G X there the R and M G make a metal carbon bond. So if the metal and carbon make a bond, we will said that this is the O M C and the organo metallic compound. So now we will discuss the some exception case, exceptional cases here that are Wilson catalyst. so this is a very and the most important wilson catalyst here in that catalyst the metal does not compound mc bond in this compound does not have any mc bond means that a catalyst does not contain any metal carbon bond so how we say that it is a omc and we consider that wilson catalyst is an omc means that a organo metallic compound we have another example just like a nacn nacn that a sodium cyanide and here the carbon and the sodium have metal carbon bond we will see that metal sodium and the carbon have metal carbon bond but this is not considered as omc and it is not considered as omc so there is a some exceptional exceptional case in the omc so we will we will make not a rigid definition of the omc but just we take about the basic journal definition that a metal carbon bond at least one metal carbon bond in the omc so now we will discuss the main topic this is a stability of the omc stability of the omc is a most important now i will make a trick on the en rule and i will try to best way to explain the en rule so that first of all we discuss the basic definition of the en rule en rule that a metal bind with that much a number of ligand if the metal bind with a number of ligand so that it could achieve a atomic number of the next noble gas if we define that the sum of all the electron on a metal plus the electron donated by the ligands and then the number equal to a noble or the inert gas so that compound is called with the en rule follow the en rule and if the compound follow en rule that the stable that compound is a stable so here the trick we discuss that a en rule the atomic number of metal simply we take the just atomic number of metal because we know the about all the atomic now we discuss the trick that a en rule basic trick this is that the atomic number of metal plus number of ligand plus minus charge on the sphere this is a very easy trick for en rule so now we will discuss the 18 electron rule and this is a very important rule first of all when the metal achieve an outer shell configuration of ns2 n minus 1 d 10 np6 and there will be the 18 electron in the valence orbital and closest to the stable configuration we said that a follow the electron rule now we take an example this is a same example and here the iron show 18 electron in the valence plus cyanide 1 and number of ligand is 6 and the charge on the sphere is that the Plus, minus four, minus four mean that we add the number plus four, and we just calculate and we get eighteen electron. So this is follow the eighteen electron rule. This is a very basic rule and basic definition and basic formula. But their application is one of the most important. In the exam, there is always find to unknown number of ligand, the charge on the spheres, and what is the metal. So here the discuss the. very most important application of 18 electron rule to find the unknown number of ligands means 
magne magnes bromin co n we find the n this is a number of ligand how many number of ligand in that omc compound so that we solution if the compound follow the 18 electron rule basically if the omc follow 18 electron rule we can find the magnesium 7 in the outer shell one for bromine electron count and the two means that carbon monoxide electron count is two right now 2 cross n 2n is equal to be 18 why we put 18 because this it omc follow the 18 electron rule this will follow the 18 electron rule we will take equal to 18 and we solve that and we get n equal to 5 so this is the one of the most important application of omc compound now we take some examples we we'll take some question of the previous year and the some expected question so first of all we discuss a question find the value of x again same find the number of ligand and we take the same example vanadium 5 carbon monoxide that electron count 2 and x is for number of ligand plus 1 why we take plus 1 because here the minus 1 minus 1 means if the minus that we will add and if the plus we will subtract on the coordination sphere so we will get the x equal to 6 by solving basic mathematics plus minus mathematics now the second question this is another important question and in the last to last year in the iit jam exam so which is a stable according to the 18 electron rule the compound follow the 18 electron rule and we just find the which compound is stable for omc so we just calculate the total electron of all the compound and we get 19 electron 16 electron and 18 electron so here only the last c compound is follow the 18 electron rule so we said that it is a stable compound in the last question the value of the x in that omc so that the ob 18 electron rule we find the x but in this case the coordination sphere carry positive charge this is the important so this question for you all and you write the answer in oh, 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 oh. Oh, oh. you write the answer in the comment section and if you like this video so please write in the comment and any doubt write in a comment section and try to share this video and uh, if and don't forget to subscribe my channel that's a iit gem advanced chemistry and if you get a um, another topic just like a uh, phase equilibrium and uh, electrochemistry and the uh, journal organic chemistry you will get the link in description box my unacademy profile link you can follow me here and uh, find uh, oh, 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 oh.